Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a non-standard equation. And the reason why it's called non-standard is because we have cosine and x together. So you can solve this by, you cannot solve this problem by regular means. Let's see how we can approach it. I'll be showing you two different graphs and sort of like two different approaches. So in order to handle this problem first, I'm going to look at it as is, which is this one. So I'm going to be looking at the behavior of the function f of x equals cosine x minus x. Let's take a look at the behavior. What, what do I mean by behavior? How uh, it increases or decreases or does it have a minima or maxima and stuff like that. So I'm going to differentiate this expression. Derivative of cosine is negative sine and the derivative of x is 1. So this is the derivative. And I claim that this is always negative or less than or equal to zero. Now, why am I doing that, right? So that could kind of look meaningless to you at this point. But here's the thing. If you take out a negative sign, you get this. And let's go ahead and get rid of this for now because I'm not just claiming it. We're going to prove it. So f prime can be written as follows. And one thing to remember about sine and cosine is that they have uh, they're bounded from above and below so sine x is always between negative one and one inclusive as long as x is real of course right if x is not real sine x can be two we've done some problems uh, using complex numbers so on and so forth that's a different story but if x is real this is the deal so notice that sine x is greater than or equal to negative one i don't care about the positive one here so if you add one to both sides of this inequality you get the following that gives you sine x plus one is always greater than or equal to zero what does that mean it just means that sine x plus one is always going to be greater or equal to zero but we don't have that why did i say decreasing did i say decreasing i don't know but if sine x plus one is greater or equal to zero this is always going to be less than or equal to zero because it's multiplied by negative one anytime you see a negative on the outside always think of it as multiplication by negative 1 because sometimes you know people are tricked by problems like this is this negative 25 or positive 25 of course it is negative 25 because it just means negative 1 times 5 squared makes sense anyways so this is always less than or equal to 0 if f prime is less than or equal to 0 that means f is decreasing okay f is going to be decreasing and what does that mean if f is decreasing and you set f of x equals 1, you set it equal to 1, this is a, always a decreasing function and this is a constant function whose graph is what? Horizontal. What's going to happen? They're going to intersect at a single point. Of course, the graph isn't like that, but I'm just making it up. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph of cosine x minus x to get a better idea. And then we'll talk about this again. So here's the graph of cosine x minus x. As you can see, it is decreasing. What happens at some of these values? We have something, okay, if you set the derivative equal to zero, and then you're going to find something interesting. Let's not get into that right now, but you can definitely go ahead and take a look. What was the derivative? Negative sine x minus one, set it equal to zero. You're gonna get sine x is negative one, and then find the x values, and you'll see what happens. But this is what the graph looks like, and notice that the horizontal line intersects the graph at a single point, and that happens to be at 0, 1. Therefore, x equals 0 is the only solution. Right, is that the only way to approach it? No. We're going to take a look at another graph along with some calculations, and then we will finish this problem up. Okay? Ready? Let's go ahead and take a look at another graph now. So here's the graph of two functions, cosine x and x plus 1 separately. Because remember, our equation was cosine x minus x equals 1. I can go ahead and add x to both sides and then look at these two functions a little differently. Because uh, it's easy to look at cosine x, right? I mean, it's just going to curve like a sine curve, but it has a shift. Uh, it's going to be maximum at 0 and then 2 pi and then so on and so forth, right? And then x, equal, x plus 1 is just a line, straight line, and notice that what happens here is our function, the cosine function, takes the minimum value at negative pi, which happens to be negative 1, and our linear graph or function takes the exact same value at 
somewhere else. Where? At negative 2, of course, right? So notice that the line, the purple line, always stays below the blue. Is that a green line? I think it's blue. And they will only intersect at a single point. Look at the intersection point and the curve, and then the distance between these graphs is always increasing. Because what happens is this function, the linear function, is going to be uh, going down as the other graph is going down, but it's going to curve, so it's going to get a little farther, and then it's going to get a little closer, but they will never intersect again. Therefore, x equals 0 is the only solution to this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.